told them, better train forces from this region to fight. They did not have no resources. They are not in the attacks. They were in the city. They never expected they would fight. Because they don't follow the standards. They fight for the standards. Fighting for not fighting. Who is the standard? And then to fight the other one. Okay, answering your question, I don't think it will be easy to change it very quickly. Putin will not change anything now. Putin is walking and will not change or turn back. I think so. This is not it's not much to think, just think. Yes, Very much, General. Uh, just supplementation. Uh, it is reported that recently Russian forces have abandoned BTG system and uh, transferred to the traditional combat regiment team, uh, like JJSDF. So, anyway, uh, Abiy Ahmad Hassan pointed out BTG was created in the uh, process of the Russian NATO reform in late 2000, uh, and uh, when the main threat was. Uh, low capability energy like Georgian forces. So BTG is anyway uh, too small to fight with uh, large scale uh, army like Ukraine, I mean, uh, after 2014. And uh, yes, uh, I, I will wait uh, General Gomez and uh, Mato Alexander assumption that Russia needs uh, more reform uh, to fight larger war. And uh, maybe it is a uh, very, Important lesson for our military force posture. Thank you. Here is the point. Regiment level. It's between BTG and brigade level. What is something? What is the difference? It's not only quantity, it's organization. Right. I give you a right name. In BTG level, there is no chief of reconnaissance of, uh, office, uh, officer who analyzes enemy correctly qualified. In regiment level, no. In brigade level, yes. That for example. In, in brigade level, there is a company of signal, a company of logistics, a company of engineering, a company of transportation. This is a, the first two maneuver unit to fight alone on one axis, right? So, but he has to do that because he cannot jump from PTG to brigade level. You have to go through first yeah. regiment level. And that's why even, you will see, if even he use it, it will take time. We call it, I used to clear that, uh, staff, staff commands, staff officers. Like reconnaissance is reconnaissance in a brigade. Logistics is originally logistics in military academy. Engineering is engineering in technical college. You know what I mean? Brigade level. They can plan. They can plan for war. They can make truly tactical appreciation. In BTC and regiment, somebody must do it for them. It's very even in Japan. Think about this. Don't ever start. That's, by the way, that's why training, we say what? Starting from individual level up to brigade level. We can, uh, what you call, make maneuvers together up to brigade level. It's not up to BTG, it's not up to battalion level, it's not up to regiment level. It's up to, must be up to brigade level. That means they practice how to fight together in defense or defense. Thank you very much.
I'm just an independent energy analyst. So very far from your territory. Yeah, but uh, um, I'm very impressed but about your uh, wide and deep interpretation of the Ukrainian war on the Middle East. And uh, you mentioned that uh, Qatar is a competitor uh, of uh, Russia in terms of gas supply to Europe. And I'm thinking about what does it mean? Because EU had declared that uh, they will uh, stop to buy any gas from Russia uh, before or after 2027, say uh, five years later. And um, Qatar's next availability of the gas from their huge uh, north field would be uh, 2026. So Europe will stop to buy gas from Russia because they recognize the Russia is not a reliable supplier of energy, including gas, and they have stopped to buy coal uh, from this August, and uh, they officially uh, stopped to buy oil from today. And uh, gas will be 2027. Which can be so by from the day? Yeah. Wood? Coal uh, in August and oil from today. Crude oil, uh -huh. I mean. And uh, gas is, they, uh, they say, they will not buy gas from Russia from 2027. Okay. okay. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. my, my uh, uh, concern is how long does this uh, Ukrainian war will last? So, I mean, when we'll see the situation of post-war of uh, Ukraine and uh, at that time what sort of relationship EU will have with uh, Russia in terms of energy. Well, they, they declared they will not buy any more energy from Russia uh, uh, including gas. So I, I, I cannot figure it out why Qatar will be a competitor of uh, Russia in terms of gas supply to Europe. So, please. First of all, you know, given the Soviet Union and the United States in the whole world, it was such an active and it's a right? Even China. But now, right. COVID-19, you know, by percent, you know, it's so kind of shit. Right? So maybe I can issue a question to the
the council of chancellor of Germany said, I cannot be after two years, but I will do my best. Very well. He was very much the LPG and so, but he was trying his best to stop, not to let people in Russia, reduce him, starting from two years. The United States didn't like that. Didn't like that. Even the European Union didn't like that. That's why Qatar, by the way, Qatar does not have even the enough number or quantity. They still need more. But at least they try to accumulate importers or resources of less for two reasons. Western Turkey, number one, to have more shares of gas. Even if Egypt is not the right, it's just a regular number of countries. Silver, Greece, and so on. And Qatar, but also it shows to have what you can feel now. We are a wonderful black. This is the most very important question for them. And I don't know what they did for Qatar. Oh, maybe something related to the world now. Maybe, maybe as they told you to be a member of uh, mm -hmm. uh, non-native commercial rights, maybe something later in the future. Right? And then, USA rescued Qatar many times from the invasion of Saudi Arabia. So the Arabia plan to invade. Qatar in 2017 and the US is offshore gas. If even Iran knows, I was very question if Iran is ever so well, who will fight China? No, Russia, no. It is not about that, right? But the United States will fight for the UAE. But then, vice versa, if you are in and PSC said we will invade Iran tomorrow, see, it doesn't stop. This one kind of was Saddam Hussein. When he was attacked, when he was fighting with Iran, first World War, and because he was being really disappointed, Saddam Hussein. But when he attacked Kuwait, he fought Saddam Hussein. Offshore guys, right? So that's why Qatar knows very well where his mind is.